case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that stirred nationwide fascination, the Supreme Court of the United States found itself deliberating over Winston v. Lee in 1985. This historic case put into sharp focus the contentious question of whether law enforcement had the right to compel a criminal suspect to go under the knife, pursuing possibly incriminating evidence. Rudolph Lee, the accused in an attempted armed robbery, stood at the heart of this legal storm. The Commonwealth of Virginia, armed with new expert testimony stating that the surgical retrieval of a lodged bullet would be safe and require nothing more than a small incision and local anesthesia, argued for the procedure. They insisted that it would yield critical evidence to bolster their case. However, Lee countered forcefully. Insisting on his Fourth Amendment rights, he argued that to push him into surgery would be a gross violation of his privacy. This tangled case had its roots in a previous court decision, demonstrating the flexibility and nuance of the judicial process. In Schmerber v. California, an older and vital precedent, the Supreme Court decided that law enforcement could not compel a suspect to undergo surgical procedures to retrieve evidence unless considered necessary and reasonably unintrusive. However, the persisting question continued to be, was it reasonable in this case? Virginia fervently insisted that it was. Their main argument hinged on their belief in the helpfulness of the proposed surgical extraction in proving Lee's guilt. Unmoved, the Supreme Court echoed the legal wisdom of Schmerber v. California. In a pivotal decision, they ruled in favor of Lee, namely his right to privacy and against unreasonable invasions of his bodily integrity. The government, they asserted, could not violate a suspect's Fourth Amendment rights to recover evidence through surgical means. The extensive intrusiveness of the procedure tipped the balance of reasonableness, making it an overreach of state authority. Interestingly, two notable justices, Blackman and Rehnquist, concurred with this judgment. This case reverberated through the annals of U.S. law, solidifying the constitutional principle of an individual's right to privacy against invasive state intrusions. Case briefs and so much more. L.S. Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.